Welcome back, everyone. Unfortunately, Ronald is still on vacation this week, so it's up to me to do the news, starting with the announcement of a new live-action Cowboy Bebop TV series. Um, now, before you, you know, get too excited or amazed here, this is very much a pre-announcement, pre-production thing. Uh, it came out in Variety uh, on Tuesday that a company called Tomorrow Studios which is a partnership between a producer and ITV Studios, is planning to produce a live-action TV series of Cowboy Bebop, um, uh, adapted by Chris Yost, who did Thor The Dark World and Thor Ragnarok. And Studio Sunrise, who made the original anime series, will be uh, executive producing the series. Other producers are involved, and there are you know quotes from them saying, we're very excited, so forth and so on. That's about all we know. So this appears to be basically, hey, we got the rights. And we've got some people working on pre-production. Yay! But without any plot or any cast or any, you know, any announcement about anything involved in, like, actually filming the thing, this strikes me as pretty much on the same area as, you know, we're working on a Robotech movie, we're working on an Akira movie, and we might have a script. You know, there's this is so... Early in the process, there's not much else to say, but except that it's cool to see that Bebop gets, you know, some, some love and attention, and certainly of all anime that makes sense in live action, Cowboy Bebop is closer on that end of the spectrum. So, we'll see how it goes, but that's uh, uh, certainly interesting. Meanwhile, we have some news about the new card, card Captor Sakura uh, OVA mini episode. So, this is a new episode that bridges the the card arc and the clear card arc of Cardcaptor Sakura in the manga. They've announced a new anime, essentially, episode of Cardcaptor Sakura, which they're going to premiere, world premiere, at Anime Expo this year, 2017. Kind of odd to do that, but hey, that's cool for those of you going to Anime Expo. You will get to see that there. Uh, apparently, pretty much all the voice cast is going to be back. They've Every person they've announced who's in it here is from the original cast. So, that's going to be interesting. Um, time to get a ticket for Expo this year, I suppose. Uh, Expo 2017 actually is a pretty good year because it's also the premiere of Infinity Force, a new CG uh, anime-style series from Tatsunoko Productions. Uh, remarkable for the fact that it brings together several classic Tatsunoko characters, including characters from Gacha Man, a.k.a. G-Force over here in America, Tekaman Space Knight, uh, Kashurn, a.k.a. Kashan, and a Hurricane Palomar. So they're sort of four superheroes all in one universe, which is interesting and remarkable. Um, and uh, we'll have to see how that goes. It looks like it's very, you know, um, Ultraman style, uh, Power Rangers style uh, CG thing, but definitely a high budget Thing, and they're going to have it at Anime Expo. So, again, good on them for having that at AX. The TV channel Toku has announced that they are now on Amazon Prime uh, through their Amazon streaming service. So, kind of like the uh, Anime Strike service, this is a se separate channel that you can also pay for on Amazon that gets you access to uh, this TV channel Toku, which is Japanese. Uh, they have you know, Asian TV series and live action and films and such. Uh, they also have some anime, though. You also got No Sora, Juden Chan, Ladies vs. Butlers, and Rio Rainbow Gate, uh, all available subbed. Along with Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs, uh, which is an American version of an anime series that's available in with English dub. Uh, it'll be four bucks a month uh, for Prime members if you're interested, and it plays the same way that um, uh, it plays, so if you have Amazon Video, it'll play there. You know, any Amazon Video compatible device will have this new Toku channel. So, that's cool. You know, more anime available in more ways is always a good thing. Uh, finally, one second, um, there's a new announcement of a co-produced uh, project called Indigo Ignited. This is from a studio called Dart Shitaijo. And no, I'm not pronouncing that. It's D apostrophe A R T S H T A I J O. Uh, they streamed a trailer for an upcoming five minute pilot film for this project they're working on. What's remarkable is that it is a 
um, an American-based but Japanese um, production company. Um, uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's a, run by Americans but based in Japan is the best way of putting it. So sort of led by American folks, and usually American anime animators, uh, most of them. But it's, you know, the, the bulk of the actual animation work is done in Japan. And this is going to be a project that will have, um, uh, it's going to be clearly like a Shonen Action series. And uh, they've announced that it will be coming out um, uh, August 8th is the planned release date for it. Uh, and then they will be launching Kickstarter to have that actually come out. Um, so if you want to watch the trailer, check for Indigo Ignited on uh, your favorite streaming service of choice, particularly YouTube has it. It looks interesting. Um, so watch it and we'll see what you think about that. Anyway, that's the news for this week. Stay tuned for the backstory on several of these news stories. And thank you all for watching. See you next time.